especially in the uh, Falcon matchup. Okay. He likes to play it slow. He's one of the Ken mains who play it very, very passive aggressive. Um, and it works out very well for him. As you know, he's PR'd. Yeah. For, um, he is a, one of the top players in Georgia. And maybe Jaws has learned some things off of him. He's able to um, apply this to his game. And we got game one starting right now. That's awesome. Let's do it. Falcon versus Ken. All right, we're taking it to the classic PS2. Both players trying to figure out how to approach, how to get in, and Fatality starts it off with a dash attack. Already. And you see, that's what we're talking about. Falcon just running at you in that corner. He, Jazzo felt like he had hit F tilt, and now look at what's happening. He's already at 83%. Exactly, and once I said, I said recovery is going to be a problem against him, so Fatality made sure instantly to put Ken off stage, put him at the ledge, to take over stage control, because Ken's not grounded. Ken is not doing much against you. Oh, Perry's right there. Good extension. Evo moment, 36 and a half. Good Hadouken extension across the stage. This could be a reversal. As we know, Ken is very explosive. But Fatality's gonna have to play it safe here. He is already at kill percent. Good there. Oh, that grab was phenomenal. Fatality's doing a great job boxing with Ken. Ooh, that's it. I, <laughs> recovering against Fatality, man, is really stressful. You it is. Put yourself in a lot of bad situations without even knowing it. Jazzo just needs to find this confirmed sooner than later. Oh, that grab. Ooh, beautiful pivot. Okay. Trying to get the grab there, but Jaws is able to confirm, bring the game back. If Jazzo can keep this pace with Fatality, he'll be fine. Exactly. Um, the beginning of the game looked very rough, but he's able to clean it up, make it pretty much even now. Uh, once again, the side you connect is going pretty bad for Ken. Okay, Ken trying to get out of there, gets the Nair. All right. All right, Jazzo in that center stage, staying in that Pokeball. All right, both players trying to pick it, each other, find something explosive to get each other off stage or get the kill. Um, but like I said, very high pace, very dangerous. Both of these characters do not want the other one to hit the upper hand. And Can't now this could be the uh, this could be the up B spam. Oh, that'd be edge guards right there. Very okay. very bad What's for Ken, but Fatality dropped them. It's very rare to see. And Jazzo oh. is able to take the off. Jazzo taking the lead now. Let's see what he can do. Hopefully, he can you know get a little bit more percent on. Uh, but not if Fatality has anything to say yeah. about it. Fatality, we are even in this winter semis. Yeah, Fatality waited for the Hado stall right there. Um, Jaws was trying to throw off his edge guard timing, but Fatality waited, knew what to do, and was able to bring it right back to even. These two have been pretty much even in the second and last stalks right now. So. I, I love that grab because at this point, he's already got Fatality, you know, yeah. staying in chill to mix it up from the last time, and he ran up and grabbed it. Yeah. Oh, he caught his jump. Oh, oh no. This, this is, is tragic for Jaws. Not good. Oh, Ooh, that gets a chance. Attack. All right, all right. He's keeping them at legs. He, all he's got to do is find center stage, but right now Fatality is camping that because he knows yeah. that's what Ken needs to win this right now. And he might be able to finish it off right here with an upbeat if Jazzo was not careful. Jazzo manages to make it back down. Jazzo right. does get his center back. Oh, but not oh. if that backer has anything to say. Ooh, this, that could have been very dangerous for Jazzo, but Jazzo held the focus attack instead of committing to a dash cancel. Ooh, that up air, the anti-air up air was great. Both players okay, what's Jazzo doing? Ooh. Oh, is that, is that, that angle, no way. He might have no taken his jump. He might have taken his jump. Oh, no, oh, he's back, he's back. Fatality's incredible. I can't believe he... Oh, wow. that down smash was actually ridiculous. Jazzo taking game one? Yeah, he proved he was up for the task. Yeah. I mean, like, I really think Jazzo's uh, play was kind of really strong that match. I mean, like... He played really smart. He he didn't overextend too much. He took some risk, but they were well calculated and they yeah. were in his favor. And then he really maintained that center stage control because that's what you want. If yeah. Fatality gets you off stage, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah. The pacing of the match from the start was just insane. Fatality was dominating, but like I said earlier, you have to make sure to match Falcon's energy. If you can't match his energy, you're going to lose. Yeah, he's just going to run all over you and yeah. just keep doing things. Especially, and not just any Falcon, Fatality's Falcon. Yeah, Fatality's Falcon. Man. Known to be one of the most deadly Falcons in the game. Yeah. Fatality makes sure that he learns your habits instantly. And Jazzo was just trying to make sure to keep mixing things up, keep the whole game different. Because if, once Fatality learns your habits, it's GG's. You're downloading. Yeah. So Jazzo really needs to... He de he de one thing he definitely doesn't want this to do is go to like... Uh, what's this, 2 out of 3? Huh? Is this 2 out of 3 or 3 out of 5? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he definitely doesn't want to go to game three, but okay. This, this being a two out of three gives him a little bit more wiggle room. Beautiful cancel with the bear, making his back air safe right there to Tatsumaki. Right now, it's looking very bad for Fatality. 
He was aggressive on his way of getting back to ledge, and Jaza was not ready for that. This could be. That grab was so tricky. Beautiful conversion by Fatality. Wait, waiting for the air dodge there. He knew it was coming, the pressure. He knew that his opponent was scared, and he was ready to capitalize on that. He misses that down there, oh no. But he does manage to get back on stage. Great air dodge coming out from Jazzo. Fatality. Ooh, landing that confirmed. Ooh, wow. Fatality is letting the people know why he is the best Falcon. That could have reached Jazzo up there. That could have been very bad. And he retreats to the platform to stay safe. Phenomenal from Fatality. And up at the. Ooh, that up smash is going to rip right through it. Focus yeah. attack and only take one hit, y'all. That so, offstage reversal was incredible with the up air. And yeah. then he beats the focus attack with the up smash double hit. All right. Now, at first it was looking really good for Jaza, but Fatality was able to find something to break open his gameplay. Probably is because of the fact that we, how Jaws has been landing. He's been showing a little bit of fear. And Fatality's like, hey, if you're scared, then I'll just wait and then find an opening from there. I mean, Fatality also has a lot of wiggle room right now with uh, being like that stock ahead. He's able to take a little bit more risk. Ooh, oh, that up might be it. No, knowing Ken, Ken being fat and on PS2, but the Nair with the two hits does take the stock right there. Yeah, Vitality just answered back quickly. He was like, okay. Yeah, he knows. Let's just get to this game three. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you can see that he knows this matchup. Um, always putting out multi hits where Focus Attack is, you know, yeah. there, waiting it out. Because um, Focus Attack and Air Dodging does require you to be defensive. It's just, they're both defensive options. Yeah, definitely. So he's learning that, hey, you can wait here, you can be aggressive here, and he's making sure that he capitalizes on what he can. Yeah, and Falcon has some great multi-hits with that Nair, which can kill, and then the up smash, you know, which yeah. he already did. So Falcon has answers for the focus attacks. And really good answers. That's going to be, you know, hard for Jaza when it comes to landing. You know, folk, landing with a focus attack isn't really as safe when you're fighting character with kill moves that are multi-hits. Yeah. So let's see what Jaza's going to do with the game. Okay, for game two, we're going right, no, game three, sorry. Game three, we're doing the same characters. Jazza might think that he has something to do to bring back this matchup. We're going right back to the same stage as well. He wants that poster ball, man. A triple run back. Oh, Fatality just running up and grabbing. Okay, Jazza had his moment. But the spacing on that back air was phenomenal. Like, there's just so many things that Fatality does that are just so incredible. Yeah, what he's doing right now is he wants to keep boxing with Ken, which is how you play this matchup. Um, because you don't want to get exploded, but you also want to find ways to pick on this character and put him off stage. And his game plan is just working out. Jazza doesn't punish the aerial, the landing attempt right there. He does put him off stage, but luckily he only got hit by one hit of the Nair. Fatality just, you know, taking his time a little bit. He could have pushed a little bit harder, but he knows he doesn't need to. Right now he yeah. wants to keep his low percentage. You want to keep things safe, play it slow. Good recovery by Jazza playing it slow right there at ledge. Jazza needs to get back. Good Did aggressive landing right there. Found a little bit of an opening. He still has center again, but at this percentage, it's not going to be as significant. All right, nice spot dodge. Jazzo's trying to find a way to start being more aggressive. He has been on the ropes against Fatality, but now he needs to know the, how to fight back. And that oh, dash that attack does bad. take the stock. The DI was bad right there. He and, did not expect that. And Jazzo's waking up a little bit to Fatality with these empty grabs and these tomahawk grabs. Um, you know, that time he did a, a back roll out yeah. of shield. Ooh, oh, this could be bad. Oh, the, the double hits of Nair did not connect right there. Man, Fatality's just trying to make some clips, man. I feel it. <laughs> I respect it. Shout out to Smash Ultimate multi hits <laughs> saving Jazzo right there. But right now they're fighting for mid stage, and Jazzo is not able to come back onto the onto the ground. And that DP will probably oh, not. But not enough. Didn't Jazzo. Take the Ooh, that is very risky. Going out yeah. there trying to edge guard as Ken. There's only a limited amount of things you can do off stage, and he got the roll read into the B jab into Roundhouse kick. When you're playing a, a player like Fatality, though, you know, sometimes you have to take those risks because, I mean, when you're down this far, you can't let that spiral too out of control. Yeah, the normal the normal plan no longer works. Right now, Jazzo's trying to mash the up tilts to catch his jump off ledge, but Fatality and, makes it through. And Fatality mixes up the grab. Instead of doing the, the, the land grab, he goes for the up B, which is also a grab, yeah. but has a different timing. So. Exactly. Absolutely phenomenal play from Fatality. Falcon has some really good options when it comes to grabbing. Honestly, this character, you would think that he wouldn't have um, too many grab options because of the speed, um, but other, they decided otherwise. Look at it. Yeah. This up B killing him while he's on the platform. There's really not much he could do right there other than spot dollars or roll. Yeah, exactly. That adds a lot of pressure when the Falcon's below you. You don't want to be juggling. 
Vitality looking to take this far. This could be game. Oh, oh no. Jazz there. sneaks out. Oh, the spot dodge. Okay, Jazz is catching on a little bit. Fatality, though, he's definitely going to adjust a little bit. So. All right, how's Jazz going to deal with the ledge trap? Fatality's able to break through with the gentleman. All right, the spot dodge does save his life. He's able to get the kill right there. Yeah. This is a last thought situation for both players. Now, this is still dangerous for Falcon. I mean, he has a bit of a lead here, but, you know, fighting game characters are known for their devastating combos, and Falcon is known for getting devastatingly comboed. Yeah. Falcon does have, ooh, wow, that roll in was very risky by Fatality. Jaws was almost ready to punish that. He didn't want to get put off stage. But he's at 48% right now, which is kind of risky for Fatality, but, ooh, 65. Yeah, things are getting real scary right here. Both players yeah. at kill percent. Anybody ooh. can, anything can happen at this point. Yeah, ooh, Jaws oh. might have got it. It's okay. over, it's over. Yeah. No Jeez. way. Yeah. Jaws gets his win Good on Fatality job. and pops off. This dude is showing out tonight. Yeah, amazing match. I mean, Fatality right. had some awesome mix-ups. And Jazzo actually, you know, he kept it in there. He didn't get overwhelmed by the mix-ups. He, he, you know, he kept pushing, and he kept mixing it up himself, and he was actually able to steal that win at the end. That was phenomenal.